Hi there, Taurus. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this reading finds you well. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Anissa from The Inner Stereo. And for those of you who have been here a long time, welcome back. I love you guys to the fullest. As usual, I'm going to be covering your relationship sector, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiance, family members, anyone. I am basically just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign. Oh, because I tend to realize that with my readings, I actually resonate much more with my Venus sign rather than my sun sign. But probably because my Venus is in the seventh house. I don't really know about that, but yeah. Okay, but if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate. Just, you know, there's so many amazing, talented tarot readers out there for you. Just, just click and watch, all right? So let's talk about your overall energy further now on uh, Taurus. It's beautiful the fact that your energies are all major arcana. And when I see even one single tiny bit of a major arcana card in a overall energy, I would say that it's a divine intervention. And now you have three. So it's kind of like a way of shit. Even in your past, you have three already. You know, it's like really, really a divine intervention. Like universe or God loves you so much up to the point that they see, like he sees you being super duper imbalanced in your life that it's kind of like is being forced to you to recognize yourself again with the sun card in here to get in touch to be one again with yourself you know what i mean because i felt like you've lost it kind of like is splattered and shattered somewhere yourself in my other deck which is i forgot what the name of the deck but it's like the nine of wands attitude like you're so much in defense you're so much anxious up to the point that you are actually walking away from your pentacles or your true core and you're standing right behind it and it's kind of like is the universe or god wasted kind of like you come on let's just stand right where you belong again Tori, something like that and you're distancing yourself away from the situation try to see things in a much more neutral way so the high priest is also talks about nothingness and it's not as if like you're feeling nothing no but it's just not to the extreme you're no longer in love with somebody you're no longer extremely hating somebody you don't want a bad stuff happening to them like it's just nothing this is just pure you're accepting and you just want everything that is the best for you challenges of this relationship is the fourth pentacle so somebody is being kind of like quite a bit sneaky withholding information okay withholding either information closure clarity but it's kind of like is a sneaky and sometimes people do this as a self-defense mechanism it could come a bit as a manipulation and i feel like it's a little bit a bit of both so they're protecting themselves and kind of like do a little bit of a manipulation that drives you to the point that you're quite imbalanced even in your overall energy for the now so somebody's being sneaky withholding everything and even withholding affections and then there is a lack of taking a giant leap of faith when it comes to this relationship to either start over to or to just open up your heart chakra <sighs> the person that you were dealing with in the past if you're only dealing with one person this person is highly committed to you commitment with you is what they had in mind you are somebody who they truly put on a high uh, chair you know what I mean like they kind of like respect you in that way but they also have like a lot of issues in their life with the world card in reverse in here so there is like these loose endings in their life that has not been kind of like chopped off and cutting all those cords that makes them quite a little bit fucked up in some ways but they're kind of like is wanting to have a commitment with you And because of that, and also I feel like there's like this argument in this relationship that is never where, you know, you never reach a resolution. You know, it's always the same thing over and over again. And you're so over and done with. Like, you know, this person feels the connection with you. Yes, you do. You've been exercising like a lot of your patience when it comes to dealing with this person, especially dealing with this argument that you're dealing with. But it's just that you cannot help the fact that, you know, it hurts you on the brain. Okay? Because of all the overthinking that you're doing and what you want to do, what it, what you wanted to do in the past was just kind of like walking away from all this toxicity 
and just move to calmer water because you have had it. You know, you felt the pain. Even if you're trying to communicate what pains you or what hurts you, is there something like a knot in your throat? Because all of these birds are kind of like flying away and scattered, so you could never actually get your point across. Um, communication is also a problem. Lima kartu masa sekarang. Yo, okay, so if you're dealing with two people, person A really wants you. Yeah, this person really, really wants you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like This person really wants you. This person is being very, very emotionally available. If you were ever want to go to them just for like a therapy session or just like in Asia, we call it turhat, like you just want to rent or vent or ramble to them. Like they would listen and offer you like a really, really great advice and wants to support you and all, all you do because they're just there for you. Like they want something for you. But I feel like right now you're focusing so much on your independence with the Nine of Pentacles in here. <clears throat> and then you had somebody who you did you never had a final closure with that's person b you never had either a final closure or a proper goodbye you each something rings on my head you know this song beautifully unfinished by ella henderson is maybe all that we are meant to be is beautifully unfinished that song is kind of like quite playing in my head so i think that's person b to you this person is like a beautifully unfinished story for you but you decided to just kind of like move away from the situations. You didn't even want to confront them again. You're just kind of like, what, what's the point of me confronting it? So rather than doing so, you just want to get away, basically. You're still stalking person B if you're dealing with two people. So this person B who you have a beautifully unfinished story with you're still kind of like quite stalking them. You might be seeing them having the times of their life and stuff like that, but they're actually healing from a lot of stuff. So this person is, I'm not gonna say men mentally challenged, but they're, they're, they have like a lot in their life. And in the past when they were dealing with you and you felt like you needed to get away from them, you know, there's like a lot of stuff that they need to learn, that they need to resolve by themselves. They, they have a lot of growing up to do. Okay. Let's see the future before I even say anything about it. So if you're dealing with two people, so that's person B, the beautifully unfinished story. Person A was somebody who truly wants you, but I feel like right now he's, uh, this person is kind of like playing a little bit hard to get, not as you know aggressive or not as assertive as they are, but they're still there. But I feel like it kind of like quite sad on you because they're not as, they don't come as strongly as, you know, they did in the past and i feel like you're still mourning over the loss of the somebody that you had a beautifully unfinished story with and so you're deciding to just focus on your money instead you left your kiss like a bruise on my lips Oh, that song is so sad. <laughs> I was just actually listening to that song yesterday. <clears throat> Hush now, don't cry. Build a young wall's eye. Don't you dare come creeping in. Well, this person, the person who you had a beautifully unfinished story with, this person is going to come back. All right, but I feel like it traumatizes you deeply. They're a changed person, though, because in the past they were the world card in reverse. There are so many, you know, loose endings in their life. There are so many unfinished business, unfinished karma that they had to go through. But I feel like in the now, they've kind of like quite evolved as of yet. And then in the future, they're going to be much more evolving with the Queen of Wands attitude here. So, but I feel like with this person, you felt like you lost that friendship aspect. It's no longer exciting because it traumatizes you so bad. Okay, but you're kind of like quite um, 
holding on to a rope here because you're quite indecisive you're feeling like at a crossroad of this person so if you happen to be this person you're cross watcher and you happen to be this person don't come to them in a very very aggressive manner because what taurus actually wants is just to have like a light hearted and carefree type of relationship so you have to go through a friendship route first before even going to the lovey-dovey or even the sexual aspect of the relationship because they're kind of like at a crossroad and they're so afraid of you i mean they're not afraid of you but they're afraid of getting hurt again you know what i mean okay so if you're dealing with if, even if you're dealing with one person i see like a lot of changes when it comes to this person like they're becoming much more open emotionally available in the future they're going to take like a really really great assertive action towards you they're getting out of their period of disappointment but i feel like you don't want them any longer it's just it's not that you don't want them because you're still curious about them in the now you know you're still kind of like do a little bit of a stalking research to them but it's just that you're afraid of the hurt and the implications and the complications and the baggages of this person that you kind of like is pushing them away it's just because you don't want to deal with this it scares you you're overthinking about the potential hurt that it may cause this person actually wants you let's do extend it <clears throat> It's February, I just celebrated my daughter's birthday, so let's just do extend it. I actually just want to know something that we have my first answer about I think about as you in general. Okay, so this person actually cannot stop thinking about you, Taurus, and they always have always been and is and always will have an unwavering devotions and loyalty that they have towards you so this feeling is a mutual it's like a connection that is so strong but it's just like you know you made them tap into their biggest insecurities their biggest fears and they made you tap into those things as well okay but this person actually cannot stop thinking about it they do still always have an unwavering devotions and loyalty that they have towards you and i feel like in the now though they're doing all right but it's up to you <laughs> all right so i think that's it for my reading for you guys i really hope that you enjoy it and find a lot of clarity in it i'll see you guys in one week from now for your mid-february reading bye, -bye.